We all have goals or dreams that keep us moving forward. Exploring the Swedish river was for me one of them. And I'm often asked why Sweden? Why leaving the French mountains for Sweden? And I have a hard time explaining why. It's a feeling, something I feel each time. This feeling of immensity around you. The sound, the smells, the views. It's a world experience. It wasn't easy to realize that dream. Many things have changed. But at a moment during my journey, I grabbed a camera. And then I was able to share that feeling. As someone once said, sometimes you need to jump to see where you land. And I land there with a camera and with these guys, searching for brown trout in the middle of nowhere. When we arrive, even if we were tired, we set up the camp and prepared to explore the area around. Everybody have waited for that all year. Some have stressful jobs or stressful life. That year time stop. No phone. No connection. Drive fly. A few hours later and after a few kilometers, we finally found the spot. And Andreas get in contact with the first nice fish. It's always special with the first one. It's like we all have catch it. But soon we all start to have fun. Det här är större än där. Måste den vara så jävla tejk. We moved to other spot, but nothing more happened. So we decided to head back to the camp to have a first nice meal.
was an amazing day, the kind of day we was all expecting to have. But maybe it was too good to be true. The following days was completely different. The wind, the rain, everything changed so fast. It was complete different condition. We try almost everything, but nothing work. So the guys decide to take a nap by the river to wait for something better. At the moment, the sun finally show up and the activity start again. Tight your line, Nilsson. Oh, he's coming out. He's looking good. Yeah! It's a good fly! It wasn't our lucky day. <laughs> Even if the fishing was really bad, we are still happy and have great hope for tomorrow. It had rain all night, heavy rain. The water rise a lot. We needed a plan. Yeah. It's our last day today but we still have big hopes. After a long morning, the fish show up again. How are you feeling, Nilsson? You see? The game changer. <laughs> now we have this Hajimi. Look like a Norwegian friend. Look a nice one. That motivates us. But we quickly realized we needed to move and take a chance on another place. As the lights start to fade, we realized it was the end of the trip soon. What did you think about this one? It was a fantastic experience. Can you tell us more? We were hooked. Yeah. Det var en ganska bra spot, va? Mm, det var jävligt trevligt. Det var värt att gå. Så är det så. Vad där? Bon appétit. Have fun. Get that thing straight, as a matter.
boom, boom, boom. Han bara rycker i spetsen. Ditt, ditt. Efter tag, ditt, ditt. Jävla litet huvud. Ja, litet huvud och tjock kropp. Ja. Ungefär så, som <laughs> dig, Nick sa. <laughs> Two and a half hours from the camp. No, I think one hour. No, one hour. Yeah. One and a half, two maybe. Yeah, I think okay. one and a half. We live the last moment of our trip now, and it was a really nice one. Some was maybe expecting bigger fish or more dry fly fishing, but at the end of the day, being off the grid with your friend is maybe the most important. For the most people I met, being outside on adventure is something else than just catching the biggest fish or taking the best picture. Discovering new places and creating memories is far more important. For everyone there, being outside is like a therapy, a way out. Run, river, flow, river, faster to the sea. Run, river, roll, river, rushing over me. Till we're free 